there's a specific order we do stuff because that's how it unfolds in a match. Okay? So I said to you we're going to be looking at opposite side of the opponent. So I'm right-handed, my partner's left. Okay? So I want to get our set up right before we progress it on. Okay? So with our stance, normally if I'm in right stance, you go in left stance, just yeah. If we're against the same side of the opponent, okay, our, our legs would be like this. But if we were on a straight line, so just put straight line, yeah, yeah. If we were like this, trying to do judo, okay, so right hand versus the left hander, we'd be off balance, right? We'd be trying to do judo on a tight leg. So it's really, really important we get our stance correct right at the beginning. So our back leg, it just posts out, okay? So instead of being here, it comes out to this side. So now, we're going to be making a triangle with our feet. Yeah? Once we've got that, that's feet taken care of. Okay? Next thing, hands up. We need to get a grip. Now, which hand goes first? All up. Yeah, lapel hand. Always, always. Here. If I go here, okay, I'm going to overstretch. He's going to turn on me. He's going to throw. Okay? Don't go sleep hand first. So, from here with my partner, lapel hand first. Then, I'm going to take the sleep. Simple as that. Okay, that's all I want from everybody to get us started. So I'll be the lead to start off with. Lapel hand, sleep hand. Lapel hand, sleep hand. Simple as that. Everyone understand? Okay, once we've got this, we can do some judo. Let's go. Come on, in a space with a partner. All right, we all concentrate, we're all there. So you need to get into this scenario now, okay? If you do judo like this and you turn that way, forget about that for now, okay? We're looking at a traditional right-hander, versus a traditional left-hander, simple as that, okay? So we know my gripping pattern's here. Now, my gripping pattern isn't down here. This is no good to me. If I'm gripping by his belly button, you're gonna have no power, no control. Your partner will crush you in, because you won't be strong enough, okay? And you won't be able to do judo, okay? You see it all the time when you're against, especially if you're not feeling confident, you go out, you get a grip, and you do this. The person here, the lefty, just goes straight over the top, pulls you in, and that's you over and done with, okay? Posture up, straight from the beginning. I'm in and I'm on the collarbone. Okay? My elbow isn't in here. If it's in here, I'm getting pulled in. My elbow isn't in here. It'll come around the waist, pull me in. It's in line with my body. Okay? I'm nice and strong. That's where I start to build my structure. Does that make sense? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Now, this hand, we're just going to take the sleeve. Yeah? This sleeve hand is so, so important for both of us. Okay? If it's in the middle, it's 50-50. If it's towards me, I've got the advantage. If it's towards him, he's got the advantage. Okay? But that's only the advantage of control. To throw, I need the hand here. Okay? Does that make sense? So this is just our control. Who's in control of the, the contest so far? If I'm here, I'm good. Okay? I've got that control. I'm not worried about his techniques. If he's here, I am. But when I want to throw, I have to come here. So remember I said before, our legs were like a triangle. With my arms now, I'm trying to pull out so it's in a square. Does that make sense, yeah? So now my partner is off balance. So from here, we're gonna do the same thing. Lead with the grip, nice and controlled, elbow down, okay? My hand comes to the sleeve. From here, I'm gonna pull the sleeve to me, he's gonna pull the sleeve to him. You need to feel like what it is to be off balance, okay? Then we come back. Then, we're going to go out. Everybody understand? Yep. Then it's their turn. Yes? What about lefty? You do exactly the same. So, Smiler is a left-handed <coughs> fighter, okay? So he'll do this. He'll come out. He'll go one, two. He's control one. He's going control two. And then Okay? If he was the same side as me, I would then go left for him. Does that make sense? Yeah? Let's go in the space. A couple of little bits for you. We're in this, and we're not looking at any gripping patterns whatsoever now, we're just looking at how to set our structure up. This is ideal situation, okay? So this is what you would do if you could do it, okay? So I hear, I'm in this position, we're still, elbow out, elbow in. My power for this arm comes from this leg, here. That's where it comes from, not from the actual arm itself. So if my elbow is out like this, and I'm trying to push, it's just coming from my shoulder, okay? If it's in line with my body, I'm able to push from my back leg and it comes forwards into my arm. Okay, does that make sense? If I'm here like this the whole time, I'm relying on the fact I've got really strong shoulders, which I have, okay? But it's much stronger if it comes from my legs. That's the first point. 
Now once you've got this, we're doing good, one, two, but when you're pulling, you're pulling down. We don't throw people to the floor in judo, we throw them into the air. Gravity would always bring them back down again. Okay? So when I'm in this position, I've got my control here, I've gone one, two, there. That's what I'm looking for. Now, when I think about turning my back, what I don't want to do is this. Why don't I just do this? Yeah, it's a long way for me to go to do my technique, okay? If I do this first, he might sweep my leg. Yeah, I, I'm in trouble, okay? So, when I'm in this position, I'm going to bring this one forward, okay? Now, from here, one, and then two. Just a simple tai to start us off. No need to throw yet, just find that position. So we're here, in first. Take the sleeve, feel it, feel it. One, and then two, step across. Does that make sense, yeah? Let's go. Come on. Make sure that we're setting this up perfect at the moment. Some of you, uh, the opposite side is starting off with their hand on, so you're grabbing over the top. Okay? If this was the case, I wouldn't be able to do this technique the way I want to do it. Okay? So if you set up like this and you're, you're in the wrong position, just take your hands to the lapel and feed it in. Okay? It's always a good habit to get into against the opposite side. And we don't feed it in here, that's no good to me. Feed it right in, up to here. And I'm always, always keeping that arm in line, so I'm nice and strong, okay? So from here, it's still quite a distance for me to go one and two all the way across. Especially if the only way I've broken balance is with just my arms, okay? So we're gonna create a little bit of momentum now. So we're gonna hit a little double staff tie toshi, okay? So what I mean is from here, once I've done this, I've got my balance, I've felt it, I've come out, I'm gonna go, one, two. Okay, so I'm getting my partner's weight onto his lead foot, okay, over here for me. This is the foot where I need all his weight to throw in. Yeah? So from here, I'm in this position. I do a little step, one. Okay, then a little step, two. Now obviously, imagine that with a little bit of speed. Yeah? So from here, in this position, one, two, and I throw it. Everybody understand? Yeah. What we'll do, we'll separate your two groups again. The first group, okay, the bigger group, you're going to come on and do the throw. The second group, you're going to practice the movement first, okay, along this side, and then we'll swap you over, okay? We're still looking, we're still looking at a perfect situation, real basics at the moment, yeah? We're in this position, hands are in. Now, what did we say would happen if we just start to step across with our lead leg? Yeah, you can get taken back. Now, it might be a foot sweep, but more often than not, they'll swing behind you with like a Tanya Toshi, okay? So where I'm in here for, yeah, they're looking for this, okay? So now, that's what I want my partner to do, yeah? So from here, I know what I need to do to get him to react. Moichi, okay? Now, this is where our posture, our stance, everything all comes into play, from here, from this. Now, the, the step, this one is a lot fancier than what it actually is, okay? All I'm doing is making my partner believe that I want to come across, okay? But I'm creating space for myself. So actually, my back leg comes back and my front leg goes forward. And then I untangle myself, okay? This is enough for my partner to believe that I'm going to turn there, okay? But look, I've not turned my back yet. I'm still on with my partner. I'm ready to attack, okay? So from here, with my partner, I'm in this position. Arm still wants to come out, push him from here, and then I'm going to come through. And then I'm in, okay? Nice and controlled with your arms. No throwing yet. Let's see if we can get the movement. Back leg, front leg, here. You can use this step for all sorts of techniques, okay? Hizzers, ouchies, loads of stuff, okay? One, two, three. One, two, three. And then I'm in. Okay? Ukis, you're playing an active role. As soon as they come across, you're stepping behind. That's it. Everybody understand? No throwing yet. Everybody on. Let's go. Now, if we were here, like this, okay, and I just pulled my partner and he decided to come behind 
with like a Tani Atoshi, okay? So you come behind here. I could not do an effective Oichigari from this position, okay? I could hook in, but I really struggled to drive because my throwing direction's over there, okay? That's where I need to be trying to throw it, okay? But I can't, there's too much space. So in its basic form, if he steps behind, I'd have to step around to be able to create that drive and turn, yeah? So that's the most important part of the step. Creating some space by stepping forwards. So I go one, two, and step back. That's the most important part. The extra bit is a way of just generating an extra reaction for yourselves. Okay, giving yourself a little bit more time to step across. Okay? So if you're struggling with the one, two, and across, just literally step one this way. What could you be doing? You could be doing like an Oso or anything like that and your partner would be going behind you, yeah? So if you're struggling with a one, two here, just step one and then you'll come in behind. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah? Let's try that then. Let's go. So the whole time I'm trying to build reactions with my partner, I'm trying to set them up. And I said to you this step can be used for, for a few different things, okay? So now I'm going to use this step again, but I'm going to make him think that I want to do Oguchi. Okay, I don't want to do a massive step across, okay, but I want him to load this weight down here. By loading this weight down here, I'm going to try and force him to step over. Okay, that's exactly what I want. So from here now, I'm going to do the same step, one, two, and now I'm going to come through. Okay, now it could be like a seatar show, so it um, doesn't really matter, okay. It's part of your job as you develop in judo to start to feel the correct finish, okay, because it will change depending on what your partner does, okay? The one thing you should never do is initiate your movement and then start going towards the ground, okay? Because the second you go towards the ground, you're committed, okay? Same with the Oruchis. If I start doing my Oruchis to the ground, that's all I can do. I can't change to anything else, okay? So we need to keep good posture. I'm here in this position. I step one, two, come across, and then I'm in, okay? No need to get to the pro just yet. Just use the movement. Now, if you're still struggling with that step, all I want to see is this. There, okay? So a stamp with your front foot and use that to push across, okay? So pull down to help you go across. Everybody else who's got the step, here. And you come over. Everybody understand? Okay, last bit. We'll get a drink and we'll go into some nails around the door. Let's go, let's go.